Hey everybody, this video brings us back out to downtown Winter Garden, Florida, where right, right there, right at that intersection of Plant Street and uh, I don't know what other street we're on. I almost got into an accident just, just now. <laughs> there, was a, there was a car, a truck, who was crossing the road. They did not bother, bother to have their, um, their turn signal on, so I just assumed they were going straight across the road as one would do when they did not have a turn signal on. Nah, he was, he was making a turn and uh, he almost turned right into me, or I almost like, like T-boned him. Ah, Florida. Anyway, all right. Yeah, we're, we're back at the, uh, the not so great post office. This is the post office where, what was it, like two weeks ago, I think at this point, I um, had the altercation with the, the lady working inside who did not want to do her job. She did not want to send out my packages. Well, I have another package to send out and I got Patreon postcards that have to go out as well. Hopefully no issues. I was talking to Danielle and she's gone to this post office multiple times and she's like, oh, wait, wait, the girl with the tattoos? I was like, yeah, the girl with the tattoos. She's like, she's always been so nice to me. I don't know, maybe she just didn't like the, the, the cut of my jib or something. I don't know, for some reason, she wasn't so nice to me. But anyway, hopefully today things turn around. Maybe just the other week she was, maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe she was just not, she was, she was swamped with work. She had a lot to do. Maybe she was just having a bad day. Maybe that's it. Maybe today will be be 180, complete different. I'll go in, I'll send out the postcards, get the stamps for the postcards, send them out, send out this package, and it'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe possibly I'll have a package waiting for me inside. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm expecting anything, but I'm gonna check my PO box. We're gonna find out. So, all right, let's go inside and let's uh, let's hope for the best. All right. Well, unfortunately, no, no packages waiting for me inside there, but. That was a much nicer experience. So there you go. Maybe you, again, maybe she was just having a bad day. Maybe also it's because I had eight packages. I don't know. Next time, I, next time I go in with with eight packages. By the way, they're all like I said, they're, they're they're all labeled. They just literally need to be scanned. It took her a minute and a half to do them. Um, but next time I go in with a stack of packages, we'll see if things still go as well. Today, today I only had one package to drop off. But anyway, that was easy peasy. I was right in, right out. She was very friendly. We even had a little conversation. Apparently the mayor of the town was, was right in front of me. And she's like, do you know who that was? I was like, no, and she's like, that, that, that's the mayor of Winter Garden. I wish I would have known, I would have said hello to him. So uh, yeah, kind of didn't really meet the mayor, but saw the mayor and again, she, she introduced him. Friendly altercation. Again, maybe last week she was just having a bad day and I show up with eight packages that again, took only a minute and a half, but may, I don't know, maybe she was just like, ah, packages. All right, anyway, that's that. So what am I gonna do with the rest of the today? I don't know. I should go to Lowe's. I do have to get boxes. I keep I keep putting off getting up getting boxes because I keep wanting to like I have boxes basically that I use to pack up movies. And as soon as I unbox those movies, I'll have boxes. But I don't know when I'm gonna get around to actually like taking movies out of those boxes. It could be this week. It could be next week. It could be four weeks from now. I don't know. But I need those boxes like kind of today. So I'm gonna go get at least maybe two boxes. I'll do that. And then um, I don't know. I'm not sure what else we're doing with the rest of the day, but. I'm out. We'll, we'll do something. So I realized uh, when leaving the garden area, I'm driving right past the big lots and I figured, you know what? It's been a little, been a little while since we've been into a big lots and I haven't been in this big, I've actually only been in this big lots once ever before, but um, what was I trying to say? It's been a while since I've been inside of big lots and uh, as you guys know, they've been getting in movies as of recently. So I figured, I don't know, let's pop in. Let's see what they have. Maybe they got some movies here. I think last time, uh, I walked too far away from my van and now it won't lock. So, oh, there we go, it locked. So, um, last time I was inside this big lot, I think I picked up like seasons of some show. I think, oh, it was uh, on Blu-ray. It was seasons of uh, the Twilight Zone, which is pretty awesome to find. I think I got this like, I think they were on sale. I think it was one of those uh, things where they, they were like marked down to like three bucks or something like that. So, all right, I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're driving past. Let's see what they got. All right, so I um, had to walk around the store a couple of times, but I did finally find the movies. They're kind of hidden over here in the um, the corner. And right away, I'm seeing things like Hellboy 4K. I, I already had that. Spiral 4K, I already have that. But here's Stagecoach. I've never seen this. I, I have not seen Stagecoach. I don't, I mean, is this any good? Do, do I want to pay $7 for, for Stagecoach just because it's a 4K? I mean, maybe kind of? I, I do like me a good Western and I do like me a cheap 
a cheap 4K. So part of me is thinking I, I should I should maybe pick this up, right? Cut comments down below. Let me know if that movie's any good. We also have um, South Park season thir uh, season 13 on Blu-ray for for nine dollars. I don't know if I have. I mean, I had the season. I'm, I'm pretty sure anyway. Do I have it on Blu-ray though? Head west. I don't know. I'm gonna have to to uh, to check that. I'm gonna say that's it for the 4Ks though. I think. Oh wait. Here, ooh. There's season 16 of South Park. All right, I'm gonna see if I have those on DVD or those on Blu-ray. If I only have them on DVD, I might want to upgrade those. So, all right, I mean, they got a fairly decent selection here of Blu-rays and some 4Ks and whatnot. I don't see a whole lot in the way of anything I, anything I need, but they've got stuff. I completely missed this. I know somebody was gonna yell at me if I didn't point it out. 4K of Doctor Who, twice upon a time. Here, here's the issue. I have never seen a single episode of Doctor Who. I'm not, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't know if Doctor Who's something I'm gonna get into. I do have a bunch of Doctor Who in my ever-growing pile of things I need to watch, but I just, I don't know. I, I just, like I said, I've, nev I've never seen it. And I kind of want to pick this up because it is a 4K, but at the same time, if I, if I end up not liking the movie, or not, not liking the TV, the, the well, there are movies, right? Not liking the movies or the TV shows, or I'm just, I just don't get into Doctor Who. Then I kind of regretted buying this. I, uh, I feel like they, like that's one of those things I, I should just pick up just in case. But like, do I do I want to? K kind of. I don't. I don't know. All right. So now this is getting kind of um, kind of bad. I just found Hickok the uh, the 4k release i've also never seen this movie i think i do own it on on maybe blu-ray or it might be dvd i don't know I, I'm, I'm pretty sure i do own this movie but again it's in my pile of things i need to watch but do i want to pay seven dollars to, to upgrade the case i think is is broken a little bit but anyway do i want to pay um seven dollars to to pick up another western i've never actually seen just because it's 4k uh, I feel like that's a terrible idea, but I might I might end up doing it. This is cool. I have this as well. The uh, the fog and howling scream queen at double feature. That's cool for only six bucks. But again, I have it. So, all right. I don't I don't know. I did check. I do have um, season thirteen of South Park already on on Blu-ray, so I don't need that. But I'm really tempted by the by the four Ks that I do. oh wait they had curse of. La Ro Rolona? Ro no, somebody told me how to pronounce this. Isn't the, the two L's pronounced like an R? Ro Whatever. <laughs> I almost picked this, this movie up for like two bucks at um, at Goodwill the other day, but uh, unfortunately it was missing the Blu-ray. Here it is for only five bucks. I do need I do need a Blu-ray version of that, a release of that. That one sounds better. Maybe I'll pick that up for five bucks as well. I don't want to go too crazy just buying anything and everything and spending all kinds of money, but... I mean, they got, they got some cool stuff. Okay, so this is why you always check. Apparently, I actually already have Hickok on 4K. I don't know how, I, when did I buy Hickok on 4K? I know I own the, like I said, I know I have it. I didn't realize I had it on 4K. So, all right, I, I don't I don't need that. And again, I'm finding more. I, I don't know how many more 4K, 4Ks I'm gonna find, but I just found um, Angel Has Fallen, which I already have on Blu-ray. I, I don't need to be upgrading to 4K. I just, again, if it's DVD to 4K or DVD to Blu-ray, I'm all about it. But from Blu-ray to 4K, unless it's like a couple of dollars and I'm gonna say that um, $9 is not a couple of dollars, I'm just gonna pass on that. So not gonna, not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna skim over these again because I, I feel like I keep missing stuff. I already have this. The, uh, the Wild Africa Tiny Giants 4K that I already have. All right. I don't know. I'm trying to narrow it down so I don't walk out of here spending like $400 on things I don't need. Here's a movie that, for whatever reason, Mill Creek never sent me, and that is Roxanne. Actually, it's on sale for only $1.50. All right, th this, I'm, this I'm not questioning. This I am picking up. Why I never received a copy of, uh, of Roxanne from, from Mill Creek, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, do, I do receive movies from Mill Creek. So anyway, that's cool. Um, yeah, I have it. I have. I know I had this. I have it on DVD. I don't have it on Blu-ray. So, yeah, that's awesome. That I'm definitely picking up for one dollar and fifty cents. That that is not a question whatsoever. Fantastic movie. And this is why you just skim through everything like forty-seven times because you just keep you keep finding things you you somehow missed over, like excess baggage. That's cool. Maybe I 
Maybe I shouldn't have come in here. I haven't even gone through the, the DVDs yet. I'm moving on from the, the Blu-rays now into the DVDs and I'm finding things like Night of the Living Dead, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Carrie, which is pretty awesome. I mean, there's, there's a lot of really good things in here. Species. <laughs> All right, so it, again, it's not stuff I, I need, it's stuff I already own, but they, they do have some really good things. What is Albert? A small tree with a big dream. A Nickelodeon movie? I've never seen this. Comments down below about uh, Albert, the Christmas tree. Is that any good? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued, but I'm just going to pass on that for for now. All right. I don't, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm seeing cool things. Thankfully, though, this time around, it's not really cool things I, I need. And yeah, I'm saying thankfully because um, I'm already spending enough money as it is. So, of course, the more I find, the more money I'm going to end up spending, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, is, is okay. I I want to find some cool stuff, but at the same time, I just, I don't really want to walk out of here spending $87. Or maybe I do. I don't, I don't know. What, what am I talking about? If I can find really cool stuff I need, <laughs> I'll, I'll spend the $87. I have no willpower. Like I said, absolutely no willpower <laughs> whatsoever. Here's how the earth changed history for $6 on Blu-ray. I don't have this. A BBC documentary I don't yet own. I think I have um, Earth the biography. So I don't know. I I don't I don't have this. And I I don't know. Maybe if it was on DVD, I would just say, I, you know what? It's another documentary. I have enough documentaries as it is. I have to get around to watching. Like, do I really need that? I, I don't know. Maybe I would say no, but it's on Blu-ray. So I, I feel like I can't say no. I have to pick it up. That's my excuse. That's my way of talking myself into it. It's on Blu-ray. It's on Blu-ray. I have to get it, right? All right. I mean, I'm not going too crazy spending money. The, the issue is, like, I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this whole pile, but I, I don't know. I don't like, I just don't like spending more than, like, $5 a title. And I, this, this is $6 for, for how the earth changed, changed history. Again, that's awesome. $150. I'll, yeah, definitely doing that. Now, granted, it's only $5 for the law. Rorona, whatever, whatever this is. <laughs> so it's only five dollars, but again, I already have it on DVD, so it's like I kind of rather pay the the two dollars I found it for the other day at Goodwill. But again, it was missing the the Blu-ray, so I didn't buy it. I, I'd rather pay two dollars for that. And then Stagecoach, like I'm paying seven dollars for a movie I've never seen and know nothing about. That's a little, I don't know. And then nine dollars for something I already own, but I only own it on DVD, so I'm upgrading to um to blu-ray like i'm spending more on these than i i want to but but i'm gonna buy them anyway all right i'm thinking that's gonna do it just the uh the couple blu-rays and the um and the 4k that i'm picking up I, again i could go crazier i could buy some more of that stuff i could pick up some more stuff just kind of on a whim but i don't like to do that as much anymore so i'm just gonna grab just a couple blu-rays and the uh, and the one 4k that's that's gonna be it and i feel like i should walk around the rest of the store maybe a little bit and look for things for the home but at the at the same time I I kind of don't want to see the problem is is that you know I, I have the new home and there's all kinds of things I, I want to get for it all kinds of things I could get for it and I I notice that if I if I come into a store like this or any store that sells stuff for, for homes and I, I start looking around I just start buying stuff like crazy I go oh we could use that we could use this we we might need that I have to avoid that I have to go out, even though it's going to take multiple trips, even though it's it's me going to Target 20 times, it's me going to Lowe's 20 times, me going to Home Depot 20 times, what, whatever. I, I got to pick up stuff as I need it. As I go, oh, you know what? We need a, we need a hook. Oh, you know what? We need a chair. Oh, you know what? We need, we need this. Like things I know we like legitimately need. I go out to those stores and I just buy those things. That's what I have to do. Because again, if I start walking around these stores, I'm going to see about 47,000 things that I'm, I'm going to want but not that I'm necessarily going to to need. So I got to be good. All right. So pretty happy I ended up stopping into uh, to big lots. In fact, I think some like <laughs> that's like break my ankle. I think uh, some of those movies were actually on sale, even though they didn't have a, a sale price tag on it, because that all came out to like like right around like seventeen dollars. That doesn't seem right. If I'm doing my math, I'm thinking it should have been more than that but uh you know what i i don't know i'm not complaining i'm not complaining so all right picked up some cool titles from big lots my question now is isn't like 
Hope Chest? Isn't that a, is that a thrift store? I don't know, when I looked up thrift stores, that did not come up. I, I, might, I might run over there quick just to see what that is. I, I swear I've heard of Hope Chest before. I could be thinking of something else now. Hope Chest could be something completely different than a thrift store. So I don't know, I'm gonna pop over there quick, see, see what that is, and then, I don't know, we, gotta, we do have to go to Lowe's. There's also a thrift store, there's a, there's a Hope Center across the street, but I don't know how to get over there without like making 47 U-turns. This, this whole area is kind of weird with, if you want to get from like here to like there, you gotta like, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know. Um, maybe we'll try to go to the other thrift stores. If I, if I can think, if that is a thrift store and if I can figure out how to get to that one, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go check those out too. All right, so the answer to, um, is Hope Chest a thrift store? Uh, eh, <laughs> kind of. They had a bunch of new things in there some some used things a couple of used things but mostly new stuff and um i don't know it looked like maybe i don't say surplus stuff not not that's something we're looking for but like a new stock they got like cheap and then they're, they're selling or something or something like that and then again some used things and then some like homemade stuff like things you would see on like etsy like that is we it was weird weird combination of of stuff i was showing you but it was very quiet in there so anyway all right no, not a, not a thrift store. Not a store I'll be going into again, but again, there is that thrift store across the street. I just don't know if we can actually get to it. I'll try, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I may or may not have made a U-turn that I wasn't technically legally supposed to make, but I got us to the uh, to the thrift shop. I did have to, did have to park here and back though, because the, the whole front of the, uh, the thrift store is completely, like the whole, the whole entire parking lot's completely taken up. So I'm gonna take that as a, um, as a good sign that Hope Center is a fantastic thrift store that everybody wants to come out to. And as everybody wants to come out to, and as such, the, the whole place is just packed. There's a ton of people inside thrifting, finding amazing deals. This person like, they think there's so, there's so much space between me and the curb over there. They're, they're being, being very polite and driving behind me very, very slowly. But again, there's plenty of room to, to pass me. All right, so we're gonna check out this store. I've never, I've never been in here before. This is a brand new thrift store to me. I have driven past this a couple of times, but I've never been inside. So as, as long as I have movies, I'll be happy. Okay, I'm happy. This store definitely has a media section. There are a ton of DVDs. I'm seeing box sets. I'm seeing Blu-rays. I'm seeing shrek 3d the complete collection i mean that is pretty cool this was a samsung exclusive it's missing ah, it's missing a disc unfortunately that would have been a cool find. dvd's one dollar vhs 50 cents blu-rays two dollars for two bucks that would have been a heck of a find i already have it but i'm gonna grab that for the store all right i'm, I'm digging their pricing here so even if i don't find anything i actually want to pick up I will be coming back to the store. Again, the, the pricing has me completely sold. And the fact that they have VHS, that has me completely sold as well. I am still sold on this place. I am keeping the power of positivity alive, but uh, here's a copy of Spy Kids all the time in the world. This is the one that comes with the 3D bonus disc. Kind of a little bit more obscure, not crazy obscure, but um, usually when you find this, it's not the 3D version. Unfortunately though, it's got all the inserts, but it's got uh, Disney Teen Beach Movie inside there. It has a 3D Blu-ray. It's got the digital copy. It's got the, the Blu-ray. It's missing the DVD. So unfortunately, it's got uh, Teen Beach and not Spy Kids. So I'm gonna have to, gonna have to pass on that as well. I would, again, something else I would have grabbed for the, um, for the store, but with it missing the, uh, the DVD, I, I have to pass. I think this is pretty common knowledge, but um, if you ever come across something like this and it has the wrong DVD inside or it's missing the DVD, what you do is you look for, for that DVD. So it had, again, the Teen Beach movie. So I found the Teen Beach movie. Sure enough, inside is Spy Kids all the time in the world, the DVD. So I will switch that out. And now I have a complete copy of, of Spy Kids all the time in the world. 3D, so that's cool. All right, I get, I, again, I don't need it for me, but I'm picking that up for the store. This is kind of awesome, especially for only $1. It's the Big Fat Liar and Big Fatter Liar two movie collection. Now I already own Big Fat Liar on DVD, but I don't have Bigger Fatter Liar and I don't really want to own 
bigger, fatter liar, but <sighs> okay. So <laughs> people are gonna say, don't you wanna split all your, your multi-feature sets up? You wanna have all the movies individually? And yes, that, that is the case. But in this case, I don't really wanna have the sequel unless it's packaged with the original movie, which it is. So I, it, it's, the, it's the weird collector mentality in me that wants to own Big Fat Liar. Again, I already do own it, but wouldn't mind having this two pack that comes with the sequel, even though I don't really want the sequel in my collection, if that makes any sense. I'm basically finding an excuse to add another movie to my collection, even though it's not a movie I really want in my collection. For, for a buck, I'm picking that up. Again, do I really need it? No, but for a dollar, I'm buying it. All right, so that's gonna do it for the DVDs and Blu-rays, but now I'm diving into the VHS and right away I'm finding Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, but unfortunately you can see the uh, the case. Wow, that, is, that has seen some better days. That is not in very good condition. Again, not something I need for me. I do already own this in my collection, but I would have grabbed this for the store. That's a cool find. But in that condition, I'm just gonna have to leave it there. Maybe some collector will come by. They'll be like, I don't have Moonwalker yet. It's 50 cents and they'll pick it up as a, um, as a placeholder, something to have in their collection until they find a copy that's in better condition. Still though, that's, that's a really cool find. It's just not in that condition. All right, so I've gone through all the CDs. I've gone through all the VHS. I went through all the DVDs and Blu-rays, even went through the records as well. This is, this is all I found. By the way, I get what you guys are saying with the, with the records. So, for so many years, so many of you have been telling me, you gotta collect records, you gotta pick up records, you gotta start buying records. And I was like, no, no. Why, why would I want records? I don't listen to music in the house. I only, only, I only ever listen to music, I'm mumbling. I only ever listen to music in my car. Now that I have a record player, I've been listening to music in the house so much. And honestly, it's pretty amazing. I, I'm, really, I'm really digging having records in the house. So I'm always looking through them, but nothing that I wanted. So, all right, I'm gonna, glance over the rest of the rest of the rest of the house rest of the store quickly man i need food <laughs> losing my mind i'm gonna glance over the rest of the store quickly see if there's anything else but i am happy with my two finds here all right so did not find anything else i wanted to pick up but yeah hope center pretty cool store with a pretty decent media section i will be stopping in here more often again I, i've driven past this place a few times and I've just never stopped in, but uh, yeah, again, I'm, I'm happy with my finds and they had some other cool stuff and I just, just a, lot, a lot of media, which means I will be stopping back out here in the, um, in the future. So anyway, yeah, cool, cool new thrifting, thrifting, thrifting grounds. <sighs> Did I mention I'm, I'm hungry? Did I mention I need to, to eat something? Cool new, there's a, there's a Culver's like right there. I'm re really tempted to go grab myself some Culver. I'm try I am trying to eat better. A lot of you guys have been saying like, oh, you have you you've been eating a lot of junk? And yes, you're right, but I have been eating better. I've been eating at home, a lot of meals at home. I've been drinking a lot more water, a lot more iced tea, a lot less soda. I have been drinking better. I've just kind of been cheating maybe like once a day with like meals that aren't, aren't the best for me, but I've been doing pretty good. Just not perfect. I'll, I'll work on getting better anyway. So, uh, so Hope Center thrift store, pretty awesome place. New, new hunting grounds for, for me. All right. Anyway, I gotta go to Lowe's. I gotta pick up some boxes and then, and then I'm going home. All right. So we made it to Lowe's and look, I've got a Danielle in tow now. We're really only coming here for boxes. I think uh. <laughs> I don't, it's not really any, anything super exciting. We're just, we're just getting some, some boxes. I think that's all. Well, I mean, there's, I, I was saying earlier in the video, we can't, walk around these stores because there are things we need for the house and then there we are things barbecue actually we do need to barbecue and then there are things we want for the house and if we walk around these stores I, I guarantee you the things that we want will overpower the things we need and it'll get very expensive very fast so that's why I, I'm saying like I'm coming in for the things I need and that's it we need a barbecue we do need a barbecue though you're you're right not one of um, not one of these one of those little like old school 1950s barbecues but like a like a like a modern oh or like a modern updated one over there you're done with this disgusting I'm, 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 soda i'm done with my disgusting soda thanks babe <laughs> so anyway we're at Lowe's. we need to get boxes boxes let's go get boxes yeah. all right well that was officially the most <laughs> easiest shopping i've ever had to do in my entire life the boxes are right here up front so just two for now Sure. All right, two boxes for now, and um, 
And we're done. Yay! Yay Lowe's. <laughs> So we're looking at these um, Charm Griller, professional grills and smokers. I mean, it's kind of kind of cool. Oh yeah, you didn't like that one because it was too, like the lid was like impossible what? to open. Oh yeah, this one's weird, like the lid. Ugh. Like these are literally like spring-loaded hinges because the lid on these are so tight. It's kind of cool though. I, I like, see I like the- The foldy downy. I like the foldy downy thing. That see, one comes in a foldy downy online. But I don't like the foldy downy juniors. That's, that's, that's my problem. Like they, I don't know, they, it takes up too much room. Like I like how these fold down. I appreciate that more. This one is easier to open. But do they come in? See, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like the grill though. Like this stuff comes off, like the, the silver, it comes off. So, I don't know. Does that, does that come with 40 downies? I saw it online, but it wasn't the gray. What color did, what color online did it have? Darker. Have <laughs> so it has to be the, the exact <laughs> shade of gray to make you happy? Like dark and gray is so aggressive for outside. It's like Batman. I don't know. We're, we're gonna, like we like this one. This one's, this one's good. But we want one, want one with foldy downy junior size. See, I like, I don't, see, I don't like this. Ugh. I don't like this top. I probably will never use that, but I like, I like this. Right, you can do so many things at once. Whee! I don't know, because these, like, I've had these and the, the silver comes off. <laughs> but I do like this one. <laughs> Having way too much fun with that. I don't know, I like it. Should we look online for, like, see what they have? Yeah, it comes in with the sides of the fold Or, it's just, like, dark. comments down below where were, where were the, uh, there we go. Do they make an electric flat top because i wouldn't mind having a flat this top instead this doesn't have foldy oh wait they, fold. yeah they, well, they, they, look at this they have the they they, they, do, they do fold down and they got these small ones i like these so aggressive like something like this small would be great the, so industrial the thing is though it's this is propane it's gas powered like do they have one you could just plug into the wall that'd be so much easier i don't want to have to deal with propane and light gray whatever the color i don't want to deal with propane I don't want to deal with gas. I don't want to deal with all that stuff. I don't mind. I don't mind cleaning up charcoal, but in light gray, if they make an electric flat top, leave your comments down below because <laughs> and it folds up, so we don't even have to keep it like this. We can fold it up, and put it in the corner. You guys can source a light gray, electric, oh gray, like this color? white, like yeah. <laughs> just not like this is so aggressive it looks so industrial with like the black and the orange i i agree the black and the like, orange that it, is it, not it, the vibe of the patio it is a bit much black and orange is a bit much the vibe is light gray it feels very construction worker -y. white and more light gray fair enough <laughs> what do we find, what do we get that but we find a light gray like cover to cover it so it only looks like that when it's being used it's like anyway do they make an electric flat top if they do but not silver either like I would like to see any flat top, electric flat top, that they make it. I don't care. I don't care if it's bright pink. Just send it to me. I want to see what it looks like. Jeez. <laughs> so the other day when I was out here, I saw these um, hose hideaways, and I was saying that we do we need one of these. This isn't something. This is not something we want. It's something we need. It is a need. But I passed on it because I was like, we don't need it now. We do though because the um, the pool guys constantly take the hose off and or not the pool. The lawn guys take the hose off and throw it on the pool stuff. But the problem is, is that that hose is not the one we're going to be using, and I don't necessarily want to, like, wind it up into this thing for right now. But I need the hose until you get the other hose. So you're saying take the take the crappy hose we have right now, install it in this, wind it all up into this, yeah. and then when I bring the good hose down from Pennsylvania, unwind it, unattach it. Difference. My life. No, the hose. Oh, your hose is. It's like. It's like. It's like a straw. <laughs> it's like the, the tiniest little baby hose I've ever seen in my entire know, life. There was like a, it's a baby hose. Maybe I don't, that's why it takes so long when I'm filling the That's pool. why it takes four hours to fill up the pool because you're filling it up with a little baby hose. Mm. It's like a bendy straw. I didn't know there was a difference of hoses. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so should we get this can you now? Just, like dump the hoses it's, so they're not thrown I was, in. I was wondering that. I'm like, can we just kind of like, can we just kind of roll in? We probably can. We just kind of just probably just throw it in there in a, in a knot. So should we get one now? They're they're sixty bucks, but we need one. Or do we do we, do we, do we order one off Amazon? 
I feel like Amazon's killing every. Not that I. Not that I really. No, they're not always the best price. So not that I really care about killing like a, a, a big chain company like like Lowe's, but but they might be cheaper. All right, so technically Amazon does have cheaper hose hideaways, but they don't hold as much hose, and they're not going to come until like when April or something. Yeah, like, and yeah. they're not like. This like name brand, brand that all the other like this all right. stuff we have is. Do we like this one? Yes. We're, we're just gonna get it. Trope? See, no. that's that's why Amazon doesn't kill things for me because I'm like I'm not a type of person who wants to wait around for something to to eventually arrive. I'm a I'm here. I want this now. I'll pay the extra like fifteen dollars to have it in my hand right now. Mm -hmm. Person. Yeah. <laughs> so should we get should we get this? Yes. All right. We came in. We came in for for two for four dollars worth of boxes, and we're walking out with a sixty dollar hose hideaway. Yay! <laughs> and it's heavy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Just some errands, run, went to Big Lots, found some movies. Oh. Went to oh, I found a new thrift store that's kind of on the way out to where I get my haircut. That actually ended up having a fair, I mean, I, I didn't really buy much from them, but they had a fairly decent media section. So good place to check out in the future. Mm. So all in all, not, <laughs> not, not a bad, what did I do first? Where's the first place I went? I went to Lowe's, went to Big Lot. Oh, I went to the, went to the post office. Oh, the post office was good. The, the, the lady was nice to me. Oh, good. She wasn't mean this time. I'm and, telling you, and she's <laughs> always been super that's, nice That's why I said in the video, I'm like, you said she's always been nice, but she, ow, she wasn't nice and to me. I, like, had her, like, weigh things for me just to see. Like, she's always been very pleasant. <laughs> she was very chatty with me when I opened She was PLS. very, very chatty with me today as well. I saw the mayor of Winter Garden. Uh -huh. He was apparently right in front of me. She's like, do you know who that was? That was the mayor. I said, oh, no, I didn't know that. So, cool. I met the mayor. It met the mayor. I saw the mayor. I stood behind him in line. All right. Oh, it's warm. It's toasty. It's going to get warmer, isn't it? You know what? It's, it's, it's warm. I'm sweaty. At least your car's white, though, because it, like, reflects the sun. It's, like, not a good idea to have dark cars. It's like. true. But I was going to say, thankfully, it's not cold. I, I rather, I'd rather this than a jacket and shivering. Me too. In Pennsylvania. So, yes. People keep saying, ah, this is the guy who's going to be complaining when it's 4,000 degrees. You know what? Yeah. Yes. I will be complaining when I'm sweating to death, but but at least you won't be. Shivering. If you put a you know put a gun to my head and said sweating or shivering, I'm going sweating Me any too. day. Sweating any day over over shivering. I don't I don't like either, but man, I hate being cold. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Some errands, some thrifting, but you got to see Danielle at the end. So I would say I would say watching this video became worth it, right? As soon as she showed up. All right, guys. That's gonna do it. So. As always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for our link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show and they do keep the show going, so I appreciate it. And if you watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag uh, hose house. Because <laughs> we got a little house for our hose. Hashtag Hose house, or hashtag hoses come in many sizes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys watch. That needs to go on a shirt. Hoses come in many sizes. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I got an extra large one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys. What? No, I'm, I, I literally meant my hose. Anyway, guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you're not subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Wait a minute, hold on. We're not quite done yet. We had to stop over here at Walmart because Danielle needs her pimento cheese bread. This is the only place you can get it? This brand. Oh, ah, but they my have. Favorite brand. You said. Rice's is the favorite. But you said you were excited by the possibility of the home style and the jalapenos. <laughs> I would try the spicy one. Is it spicy? Yeah, jalapenos. You gonna get this one then? I mean, I might give it a little whirl. So what, you're going to get one of those and one of those, right? Correct. Uh, okay. You haven't noticed the entire shelf devoted <laughs> to dips. <laughs> yeah, I have noticed that. So you want me to reach all I the way in back? I the ones in the back to see when they expire. <laughs> We're getting dip. Now I need to reach into the back. All right. That's what I do, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you in the next video. This is what my life has become. Dip, dip, dip reacher. The best length ever. Yeah, I, I feel like a dip. Mm. All right, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye.